so the first thing that I need to do is I have this Kevin Durant mask already here, but I want to change the lighting scenario on him just because he's a bit dark. So he's a bit darker than these other masks that I'm going to use. This one, this one, and this one. So I just want to make sure that once it's on the canvas, I have enough to move around with. I'm just going to put curves on, and then I'm going to choose with these three points, you can choose your darkest point, your midtones, and your highlights. And this is supposed to make it look a lot better overall once you do this. So first, let's choose a dark point on him on the skin. Do something in the shadows here. Next, I'll choose a midpoint that I see. So a midpoint of the skin, probably around there. And then the high point, a highlight on the skin. Okay. So as you can see already, you get a, a nicer balance, but then you can go in and change around these curves adjustments by themselves because it's a little bit too blue in areas and such so go in and change around those until you get something that blends well so what i can also do is see that he's very saturated off the bat so i can drop down the saturation so let's do the first step and i'm gonna just put all these masks on the canvas so I have this last KD mask and I forgot that I have to actually swap this jersey because obviously he has the Nets jersey. Just like magic, we're just going to paste it on here. Just using the warp tool here. Okay, warp is not working officially. We're going to just try liquefy. <laughs> and I'm using the forward warp tool. And I'm just going to drag. So for blending, I'm going to go off of this one that we had done a little bit of adjustments on and I'm going to even adjust this one a little bit further. So I'm going to go to my blues on my hue and saturation, dropping the blues down from the head and I'll probably drop the scion. I like to do my play retouching before I get into the actual concept because I just like to have a nice clean look of the players first. Put a little bit of Topaz Labs on Kevin Durant here, but he's a little bit bland. Clarity, crisp, but probably like not much at all and selective color let's bring his reds out a little bit more then i'm going to use curves underneath this bring some of those highlights down i'm going to add color balance as probably the last slider and give him a little bit of yellow he's actually pretty sharp already i don't need to add much i'm going to add camera though or add a little bit of texture and a little bit of clarity probably gonna add mainly the same things i'm gonna insert my background images and i'm gonna start really building the composition now it's the desert base background that i want to use just use a gradient map start blending him out bring the kd look forward always you're gonna have to play around with where you want to place your images right now i'm just selecting them and choosing a place where i want to start off by at least i want your eye to be drawn to the skull that's going to be on the desert ground I had this nice sunset right but what i have to do first is i have to get this sahara desert i have to get the background off of it we'll see if select sky works sometimes it really doesn't invert the mask let's see what it looks like with a black background okay it's actually not that bad sweet looking good and that's perfect for me i'm gonna copy it put it down on desert ground what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit Control t and i'm gonna actually bring my perspective when I try to put things on the canvas, it's not going to be as difficult to size them. I'm going to start blending these elements through the way they are now, but I want to set the mood for the scene. A sunset setting, but I want it to be a little bit dark so that I am able to add my own lighting and things of that nature. Drop this first down with curves. Let's go on camera and just make this a little bit sharper. Just a little bit too dull for me. I like to have texture on my elements. And the dehaze will also help bring it down to a little bit darker as well. Bringing in these hills that I want to use just so that we have a little bit of a difference in the background and there's more surface, more variance in the background and a, a sense of depth that you can kind of perceive. If you can dis display depth in a way that you can perceive to a viewer, it's going to make the composition look a lot, a lot better. For the shadow, since they're so dark, I'm just going to paint a little bit of the color from this actual land right here on top of them, dropping the opacity down. For this one, I'm going to try brightness. I'm going to paint on these shadows once again. And I'm going to blend this through to the, take off the highlights from it. I'm just going to bring the curves down to both. Clip it on so I have curves for both. So what I'm trying to do with this skull is I'm trying to make it look like it's actually sunken within the ground. 
right now i'm just going to start blending it in curves bringing down highlights in let's just get this blended in soft brushing and i'm going to soft brush it into the ground so i'm going to take those debris because i downloaded a couple of different angles i'm going to start layering them over the skull We have the sunset sky there already, but I want to use this one and then I'm going to go make a layer mask and I'm going to bring in my brushes from the concept art brush pack that you guys can download in the description. Layer in the sky. Let's add curves and darken it. I'm going to use a simple layer called color layer. So I'm going to put this on color. I'm going to pick colors from the, the original sky. I'm going to go back to my soft round brush. And I'm just gonna spread color, see like that. Next, let's start blending in these actual subjects to the scene. So I'm gonna go one by one and blend these subjects in. So when I'm doing these highlights and bringing everything back, I'm thinking about where there's points on his face that already created highlights and also the anatomy of his face because it gives a more pleasing look to a viewer when you can not only be accurate with the lighting, but control the lighting in your own way. I just wanted them to blend in a little bit more of the sky, so lower our flow and then get that haze going. And what I'm going to do is probably just layer these in. They're all 4,000 by 4,000 pixels, so they have really good quality. So I'll be able to just position them whatever way I feel is best and then just adjust them from there without worrying about losing the quality of them. I want to have some in the foreground for sure and have them blurred out. I think that's going to just make it look super dope that right there. And then once you get the blend, oh, it's going to be tough. If you want higher quality projects and renders, grab a kit. My work is trusted, including the NBA, UConn men's basketball, and Florida State football. Going on this site and getting the resources and being able to plug them in, edit them, and make sure you guys tag me when you guys use the packs, tag hashtag stay scope so I can see what you guys are creating, man. Down the edges too. Start getting a little bit more vignette. I'm bringing in this Reaper guy, and this is gonna just prevail the depth of the scene. Color balance. We're gonna make a shadow underneath him. I want the shadow to be more extended like this. Hey, that's fire. It looks a little bit more edgy like that. I like the sand dune hills, but I wanna blend them in a little bit more to the scene. So I'm adding hue and saturation, and then I'm just gonna invert the mask on them. I really hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown video. The last step of this would just be camera raw, which I did not show, but I could just show that in a different video. So make sure if you guys did enjoy, check out the project file that is gonna be on Patreon, as well as this cloud pack, man. The cloud pack is gonna come in really handy on shopscope.com, man. So check out shopscope.com where you can get the cloud pack I used in this piece. And until next video, I'll catch you guys soon.